Remember Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp? The revival of this beloved RTS series from the GBA era was originally set to launch on December 3rd, 2021, but since then has been delayed numerous times and we've had nothing but radio silence since the last delay. So when can we finally expect to see Advance Wars make its comeback on the Switch? Let's find out. But before we do, a large percentage of you watching my videos aren't subscribed and we are so close to hitting 2k subscribers so it would help out a ton if you could subscribe. If you like these type of videos and love Nintendo, you'll love this channel. And on with the video. So nice. The Advance Wars series is an interesting one, as it seems to have a history of delays. The first entry was released on September 10th, 2001 in America, of course the day before 9-11, and it was then delayed in Europe and Japan due to these attacks that happened that day. After that, we got a few more entries on the DS, with the last one being in 2008, and then the series was seemingly done as a more popular younger sibling Fire Emblem took over. That is until June of 2021, as out of nowhere, a reboot of the franchise was announced in a Nintendo Direct with a release date of December 3rd, 2021, but was then delayed until spring of 2022, as it needed more development time. In the February 2022 Direct, we got some more updates on the game with an April 8th release date, but was then delayed on March 9th due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. Now, this does make complete sense and was honestly a good move by Nintendo, especially with the Blue Moon Army in the first game being based off of Russia, who invade a country early on in the game, and this would honestly come across as pretty distasteful if a game was released around the time of the war starting with this sort of storyline. Now, we know this game isn't cancelled, as in September, Steven Totilio asked a Nintendo rep is the game cancelled? And the response he received was the release has been delayed, we will announce the new date once it has been determined. So a bit of reassurance there, but honestly cancelling this game just makes zero sense anyway. I mean it's a finished project and it probably has been for almost a year at this point unless they decided to add more content to it after a second delay. But the big question is, when will the game finally release? Well, 2023 seems to be the year it will release, but I would hope so. And honestly, they probably didn't plan on delaying it for this long. They probably just couldn't find space in the 2022's lineup to squeeze it back in. And they had a look at 2023's lineup and found an empty gap just to slot it in. So when will that slot be? Honestly, I could see them releasing it in the first quarter of 2023, maybe even in April, a whole year after the second delay. We obviously have just had Fire Emblem engage in January, Kirby's return to Dreamland Deluxe is in February, and if we're getting any big games in March or April, we'd probably know of them by now, so unless we're getting a small port or remaster in the coming months, March and April could be empty and it seems like the perfect time to release Advance Wars. And there are of course rumours of a direct happening soon. We have seen that news update recently saying that the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Advance Wars Reboot Camp eShop pages have been updated with new NSUIDSs, whatever the heck they are. Apparently numerical identifiers for the games on the eShop. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what that means, but people are saying that it, you know, with it being an update to the to the shop, that it could mean that the game is on its way soon. We obviously know Tears of the Kingdom is in May. Um, so yeah, maybe it's getting ready for pre-orders again or something. I don't know, but it does make sense and it is sort of lining up with this rumored direct that's going to be happening. So yeah, hopefully we will We'll see this soon. I, it just makes so much sense to come out in the early part of the year. It doesn't need as much marketing. So yeah, it makes perfect sense. But what does this mean for the sales of Advance Wars Reboot Camp? The War series in general is a very small franchise and not many people have even heard of it. Hence why it was just kind of forgotten about for 13 years. And it's such a shame, honestly, that when this game got a chance to be in the spotlight again on the massively successful Switch, it was met with multiple delays, of course, due to unforeseen circumstances that Nintendo couldn't control the second time round, but now it's just kind of been forgotten about again. And I truly hope when it is time for this game to release, Nintendo go all out with the marketing and push this franchise because... It has potential. I mean, once upon a time, Fire Emblem was also a small franchise that didn't sell well at all. And Fire Emblem Awakening was rumored to be the last game. But now look at it. The most recent entry, Fire Emblem Engage, seems to be doing well. And the previous entry, Fire Emblem Free Houses, sold 3.8 million copies. The best selling game in the series. So I truly believe, if done right, Advance Wars can be a successful series. Maybe not as big as Fire Emblem, but still. 
let's hope that when it does release, hopefully we get the announcement soon in this rumoured direct, that it sells well and hopefully well enough to warrant a completely new game and we can see the Advance Wars series continue. Sunless.